Alrighty, good afternoon and welcome, fellow Vault Hunters, to episode 8 of our wonderful, marvelous Season 3 Vault Hunters Sky Vaults Adventure. I do hope you've been enjoying the series thus far. If so, be sure to show it with a like on the videos. Today, we got a lot of special stuff planned. One, we're going to be opening a monolith crate because, as you'll see from the little slideshow of pictures that's on your screen at the current moment, I ran a vault in between this episode and the last episode. The main purpose, well, melons and sand. I didn't want to keep running vault after vault after vault. Um, you know, because we failed on that last one in episode 7, so I figured... Shoot, we'll try to run one in between episodes, try to get at least one of the two ingredients, and then, you know, episode eight will come on and we'll find another. But I managed to find both ingredients, as you'll see from the pictures, and uh, three monolith vault, and all the monoliths were, like, dead center of the room. So, yeah, we're going to see what this crate holds, and then after that, we're going to be diving into some actual real vaults once again, because uh, I just ran, you know, another basic budding crystal vault and those are no good so let's see here goes monolith crate do i gotta break it open it break it break it break it that didn't work oh shift right click okay so uh, a lot of stuff popped out of there let's see unidentified relic fragment Okay, we'll see if we can identify it. Uh, vault meat, diamond, memory shard, which can make a memory crystal, which can make a sublime vault vision, which can make a statue. Uh-huh. Super cheap, uh, cheap recipe there. 60 vault bronze, fantastic. Another amplifying focus, that's really good. A vault diamond for the freeze key, I'll take it. Chromatic iron. So all that's pretty good. And then what is this? Unidentified? Unidentified? And we got... Sir. Assembles the Nazar. And then we have the Elemental. Or the Water Element. Sorry. Alright. So... I guess we'll just put all that stuff in here. Because I'm not quite sure what any of that does. Vault Meat we have there. Vault Diamond. We're now at two. Second amplifying focus. Vault bronze. Do I have a place for my money yet? I do not. Just throw it there. And that's all the modded stuff. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're pretty... Oh, not the sack. Pretty much ready to dive into this next vault. Um, I did grab some sand that... I mean, obviously that one's much easier than the, the melon I was really happy to have found in the vault. And I will say this. If you're if you're curious about speed, if you're thinking, second guessing, I cannot recommend it enough. It has got to be the only reason why I was able to do the monolith vault and uh, find all the goodies. Oops, tropical fish don't go in there. So yeah, I definitely recommend speed as far as your upgrades go. Honestly, as far as your upgrades go, I think I've chosen pretty wisely here for Sky Vault. We haven't done Vein Miner. You can get Vein Miner if you want it. Minus specialization here, which was kind of a mistake. I thought you could uh, swap them around, but that's all right. So we farmer heal into uh, speed. Really good, really good stuff. Anyways, let's get the rest of what we need here. Dripstone, melon, I believe. Yeah, we have the rest of the melons in there. Dripstone. Well, I might need to get some dripstone. I mean, does it require? One? Okay, well, I can do one. Somebody said to put a dripstone thing on the bottom here. Um, so I guess let's try that. See if maybe this will grow that. Look, at this point, I'm, I'm really just desperate. <laughs> I don't know how long that thing's been up there, but I'm pretty sure I'm following all the rules. And it's just not growing, so maybe this will. Who knows? Um... So yeah, let's create a melon. How many melons do we actually need before I just go creating all of these? Five and three lapis. Do we have enough for five? I don't think so, because that takes 45. Yeah, we have enough for four. We're going to have to wait up for our melons to grow up, 
And you know what? Night's coming. We'll just... I'll meet you back up here when we complete this crystal. Um, and we might actually... Before we activate this crystal, I think we're going to do our other one. Right? This one that we've been saving. Because we're almost to level 5. And if we activate this one when we are level 5, then we can get a level 5 crystal and hopefully better loot. Right? Anyways, I'll see you in just a moment. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, in between episodes. So I did the vault. The other thing that I did was finish this out. So now this goes all the way down. And this is uh, magma at the bottom, right? So we won't drown. We can just casually sit back, hands-free, you know, descend. It actually does take us quite a minute, though. Unless we sort of swim down. But you gotta be careful so you don't pop out of one of the exits uh, going a little too fast. So yeah, this will take us all the way down to the bottom. If I could start over my Sky Vault world, which this... This video will probably be up after my beginner tips for Vault Hunters in general, and that's what I mean. See? You see? <laughs> About killed myself. Anyways, um, we're probably going to do a tips for starting Sky Vaults world, so that'll be coming in the near future. But yeah, this works all the way up, all the way down. Problem is, obviously, we have a lot of blocks going all the way up and all the way down, so one, this took forever. And, uh, two still takes forever. <laughs> Alrighty. So, again, I'll see y'all in just a moment once those melons grow up. And, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and do the lapis. Pumpkins have grown and been chopped. And now we are ready to make our final piece to the vault crystal here. So, throw them all in there. Five melons. And, again, we don't want to step on that pressure plate until later. Hopefully we're... Oh, what am I doing here? Is it complete? Yes, okay. So yeah, we're going to leave that there. And now we're going to go into this level 3 vault. I uh, also need to store melons away. Okay. Now, we are ready to go into another vault. And I will see you on the other side. Alright, not going to lie, it looks mossy just like the last one. Don't tell me every single vault we run is going to be a mossy vault. It's not really what I want to hear. Didn't start out with an Omega room like we did last time, which is a little unfortunate, but that's okay. A lot of dripstone here. I'm just looking for some easy access points. Honestly, doing a little bit of recon. This seems like a trap. I've never actually investigated this room, but this seems like a trap, yeah? Let's check it out. Let's at least examine it. Big ol' X. What the heck? Why are all these blocks mismatched? Is it supposed to be this difficult to, like, get down in? I mean, it kind of makes sense if they're trying to surprise you with something. Problem is, we don't have like a mega jump or a dash or anything like that yet. So if we go down in something like this, we're just stuck. I prefer not to be stuck. I don't know about you guys and girls. Definitely a hole. Definitely a hole, and I don't see any monsters quite yet. Uh, this is a little terrifying. All right, we drop. Nothing in here. It's literally an empty hole. Well, you got me. <laughs> Somebody comment down below. What am I missing there? Am I am I missing something? So 
Besides the fact that that was an incredible waste of time. There's some ores up top here. Wait, I don't have my bow and stuff out yet. The heck, Chance? Trying to do these vaults all Mission Impossible? Also, did the spawner fizzle up here? I didn't hear anything. We're going about this vault in a very inappropriate manner. Very poorly executed, Chance. Wait, was that the only special vault or up here? Oh no, there's some Laramore. Oh, and a monolith and a couple other things. And this is only a two monolith vault. Oh, we could get to that. I need my bow out, really. Alright, here's what we're going to do. Right. That way, if we are to fall, hopefully we won't get mobbed. Get it? Mobbed. All right, what we got here? Wither, memory, regret, carbon. Can I, can I reach this? There we go. All right, now what's in there? It looks like just money. Sorry, not interested in money. Maybe later. Right now, I'm trying to find knowledge. That is our main concern. And perhaps I should just pick one room and like explore it top to bottom. Maybe that's how we find the most loot. This one. This one definitely fizzled. All right, let's just hop on down. Knockback kind of makes this a bit annoying, but that's okay. Alright, all the good stuff. And did I mark my entrance? I did. Cool. There's a couple more vault pieces down there, but I will keep it moving. So yeah, we already have one of the monolith pieces. We just need one more now. All right, let's just get them. As long as it's a fizzle spawner, I think we're fine. Honestly, even if it's not a fizzle spawner, I feel like our pickaxe does enough damage now. We're probably good. Oh, this is big loot. Big loot. Get rid of some of the stuff we don't need. There we go. Alright, and then let's start to store some of this stuff. Anything and everything. Alright, cool. Let's just continue on. If we find easy rooms, we go through them. If not, we, you know, keep on keeping on. And if we see a monolith, we activate it. Pretty, pretty simple. Okay. 
All right, that was perfect timing. Fairly sure there's still another zombie out there, though. Let's grab the loot. Oh, goodness, that lantern scared the bejesus out of me. Alright, um, I guess we just keep on moving. Looking for another monolith. Since there are only two, this shouldn't be an impossible task. Let's go ahead and take this one out. But another spawner triggered. Oh, shoot. Keep forgetting we're not supposed to sort, just as a general rule of thumb. Can't tell if those zombie noises are coming from up above or down below. Okay. Well, it fizzled, so it should be safe to get over there. One of them fell. I saw that. Okay, now they both fell. Oh, those zombies uh, spawned up down below, because there they are. And loot. Loot. Okay. Onward we go to more adventure. Alright, well, I'm not sure where the rest of those zombies are, but we're just going to keep running. Twelve minutes left. we got to start heading back soonish. Oh, there's one or Nate over here. So we go for it. Spawner did fizzle. So that's fantastic. Getting mobs in water always works like a charm. Chromatic burger patty, vault ingot. Hey, and was that netherite? Vault, vault ingot again. All in all, worth. How much time? Eleven minutes left. I'd say we're still good. Not gonna lie, I was really hoping to find a monolith, but if we don't, that's okay too. Alright, another spawner. We're gonna try and break it quick. Some zombies spawned up, but it sounded like they spawned beneath us. 
I'm not sure what's up with that. Um, but we're still good to go. Got just a bit of time left here, so we're going to keep gathering up everything that we possibly can. The exit's that way, so... Yeah, we might have time to branch off a little bit here. Let's go for this one first. This knockback almost makes it take longer to take out mobs. Obviously a bad thing. We don't care about the iron nuggets. We're trying to very specifically avoid the iron nuggets. But I appear to be picking them up anyways. Hard to distinguish them from the chromatic iron sometimes, right? So that's there. Maybe we can try and get this, this one here. Fizzle? Fizzle's good. Say, so yeah, I think I only heard two. Ooh, there's something through there, but I want to hold off on that. I also want to start picking up some of this stuff. Is that it? Well, let's try this. There we go. Alright, so that's good. That's good. Holy moly, that's really good. Think I got some more iron. We have four minutes left, and I would like to check to see what this is. Looks dangerous. A lot of wishing fireballs. Knockback is amazing. Yeah, whoever says they don't like knockback, you might be a little crazy. Okay, that chest is just horrible. I did that one. This has a lot of really good stuff in it. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Knockback, save me! I'm not gonna lie, I feel a little cheated. Alright. We have got to get out of here. Didn't manage to find the other monolith. That's okay. Thousand experience, almost to level five. We might have to do just a regular vault to push us the rest of the way before we activate that one. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a lot of loot though. We're gonna go and sort through it all, see what uh, what we can muster up. Let's see. Let's put down the sack. I'm really interested to see what's all in the yeah in the shulker boxes. We were just sorting it there at a minute. So hopefully a lot of good stuff. I doubt we got enough of anything to really progress us as far as crafting was, but that's all right. We'll uh, see what it is, and I'll check back with you in just a moment. Alrighty, everything has been sorted through and put into chests nice and neatly. Our inventory is completely empty, minus this netherite ingot, and that's to remind me to upgrade my sword, which we definitely need to do. Um, and you know, we'll do that in a minute because it's going to be over there with the villagers. So yeah, I pretty much just stored everything away. And you know, I was saying like, oh, I got to run another vault just to get some experience. When in all reality, we got stuff to make a burger. So if we do this, that's a cheeseburger. And if I do that, it's a double cheeseburger. Who doesn't want a double cheeseburger? So there we go. Three double cheeseburgers and we can make one just regular hamburger. Uh, let's do the regular one first. Oh, so close. So yeah, double cheese will definitely put us over the edge, and there we go, level 5. Going to eat these other two, and take a view. 
at what we want to get with these skill points. Obviously, the next level of speed takes quite a bit there. Strength could be good, allows us to punch better. Haste allows us to mine faster, even faster than we already do. That could be really nice. Although, if we get something like Vein Miner, we can go Vein Miner Fortune. This gives us an extra layer of fortune. We already have fortune three. That'll technically give us fortune four inside of the vault, which could come in handy when getting vault gems of, you know, various proportions. So I think that's the route we're going to go for. And it only cost one. Smack. Let's do fortune. Doom. So, I don't actually have it, uh, well, I guess we might, let's see. Yeah, it's, it's linked up, okay. In order to select it, then that's... I guess we could just hold the button down to select, right? If you didn't know, you can hold your ability key down and scroll with your mouse wheel to scroll through your abilities. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, get through talking about what I wanted to talk about, which was we have two vault ingots. We just got two out of that vault there. We have three vault nuggets, which of course vault nuggets turn into vault ingots. And we have enough vault dust to create enough vault nuggets to create enough vault ingots to get us a vault pickaxe. Now, this is a little strange to me because we're just going to skip straight over the scrap pickaxe which is right here 1500 durability is the one that's i guess meant to come first i'm not i'm not really sure but it's got a lot less durability on it and so for that uh we're gonna stick with the regular vault diamond we're gonna need these for the knowledge core right still stuck behind biniotite but we do have four so we just need a little bit more anyways let's go ahead and craft all this stuff we're gonna get some driftwood here it's going to be great. Great times all around. Craft it up. Craft it up. And three, two, one. There we go, ladies and gentlemen, our first vault pickaxe. Woo! -hoo! Level eight. Level eight. Episode eight. <laughs> Level five. Words, English, stuff, matters, details. Yes. I don't know. Anyways, uh, this is fantastic. I'm going to have to look into some more details as far as what we want to do with this. Because obviously our netherite already has fortune and mending and efficiency. So like it's it's here for forever. Uh, and it will probably still be our main pickaxe. But, you know, it, what's, what all can we do with this vault pickaxe? How, how much better is it? You know? Lots of questions. Anyways, we're just pretty much going to gear ourselves up for running another vault here very, very soon. We're still uh, quite a bit of ways off with the knowledge essence, right? We needed, I don't even know how many, eight of these stars, which requires nine of these, 72, we're at 29. Well, you still got a ways to go. That's quite all right. Um, yeah, let's gear up. Let's dive into another vault after I uh, netherite up my sword. Alrighty, so a uh, little bit of time has passed in between, you know, dropping stuff off, sorting it, building our, uh, our pickaxe wherever I left it. There it is, our vault pickaxe. Uh, and in this time, I've had a chance to formulate plans and options on what we should be doing as far as moving forward in the world. And I'm happy, actually, that the sun is setting. You'll notice around the base, uh, it's kind of empty. We also made an upgrade to our little infinite water source here just because with everything else being gone, it looked a little blank and a little bland. So I decided to... Uh, you know, give us something to look at. But we are in the process of upgrading our base and making things um, smoother, cleaner, look better. We're getting rid of a lot of the torches and getting down some of these illuminate fixtures. And uh, these are dynamic edge lights, bottoms. And you can also use tops, but the bottoms go obviously on the bottom of blocks and tops sort of go top like top slabs. Um, but anyways, we're slowly swapping everything over because we've now got a couple more villagers over here. Um, we have a cleric, a mason, and a cartographer who were slowly but surely getting worked up with paper there. Uh, but we have the mason all the way up to master so we can start using quartz blocks, andesite, tripstone blocks, uh, bricks, 
in our builds. Blue glazed terracotta, which is a little bit of a weird one, but if we really wanted to, you know, it's there for us. With the cleric, we gain access to redstone dust infinite, lapis infinite, and glowstone infinite, right? We also have uh, access to ender pearls, which is nice because our mob farm doesn't currently produce these, so it's a way we can get them without ever having to touch an enderman. Um, everything else is pretty much the same. I did level these two all the way up, so we have efficiency two, silk touch, and breaking two. And if we come right here, you'll notice we have efficiency three, unbreaking three, and yeah, silk touch. A little bit of a copycat there, but uh, whatever. You know, whatever. As for everything else, well, we kind of got a building off there in the distance that I'm sure you're wondering about. And what better way to get over there than with our new little path down here that I'm realizing needs to be lit up. So, let's light this up and take a little stroll down downtown here, huh? Uh, now, this little path is going to be used for dripstone related farming because I can just sort of line this wall here and it'll be very compact. We've already sort of got some going here. Um, but we'll, we'll make it look better in the future. I just wanted to get this stuff going. It has actually been working. It just takes five ever. The chance to happen is like very, very low apparently. So I moved this over here after we got a bit more of the pointed dripstone. We can eventually get this pointed dripstone, um, from mechanism, but I'm not so sure we're going into mechanism. I actually have a plan as far as mods and uh, how we'll be doing that. Anyway, so here's our little sideway path that we have down behind there. And coming over here, we have a temporary portal because you'll notice, well, I kind of destroyed the previous one. Uh, we have a sugarcane farm, which needs to be lit up more than it is, and I should probably go to sleep now that we've seen those new lights. <laughs> Anyways, we have a sugarcane and bamboo farm. Really a big structure. It's mostly to cover up the bottom here, which is the collection system. But what I wanted was to be able to just walk up and gather everything, which obviously it's working pretty well. Um, very simple system up in here. If you want to know how to design one of these, there's plenty plenty of places. Shulkercraft, Logical, Geek Boy. I mean, honestly, uh, there's somebody, there's a lot of places. Il Mango. Um, all we have in here is observers at the very end there. You can't really see it but it's powering the pistons which smack all the blocks into the middle it's not entirely lossless because obviously sometimes it drops on the sand but that's okay as far as sugarcane goes uh bamboo is completely lossless because you don't have to worry about the whole sand uh aspect which i guess yeah you know, we we could probably move this down we just have to waterlog the water but it would make our gains a lot better um, it goes slow because we only have one observer there at the very end. We're sort of limited on actual quartz. Not quartz blocks because we have the mason, but actual quartz. We can't quite turn our blocks into quartz without, uh, some mods. Which, you know, we're, we're going to be getting into our goal with that here very shortly. So, that is everything updated with the base. We have a new and more impressive portal coming in this area over here very very soon that's actually what i'm working on it'll probably be done in between this episode and next episode uh and then we have a list over here of things that i need to do so we're gonna be running a vault just so i can go in and get some grass because we do have silk touch on these tools in here whoops picked up a bucket uh so yeah i have silk, silk touch on a hoe and an axe there so that will be useful for us um, and I have this dripstone I need to put down. I was doing a lot of testing with Macaw's bridges and brick stuff. It's, you know, the base is a work in progress, long story short. But we're going to have some upgrades in between this episode and next episode. But our goal for right now is to go and do a regular vault and get some grass and some more vault cobblestone so I can finish that upgraded portal. But before all that, I want to explain vault pickaxe. We are aiming for... Certain vault gear and vault equipment or vault stations, I guess vault stations probably is the best way to describe it. Uh, and these are basically just workshops that we can use for altering our vault pickaxe, our vault armor when we get it. Um, building vault armor, right? That's what this vault forge is for, which we can probably already make this with chromatic steel ingot and vault essence and all that. But I want to do it all in one fell swoop, so we're going to run... Maybe two more real vaults where we can get a lot of good materials and stuff built up. 
and then we're going to set up a station for that, which is why I'm sort of converting our base here. You know, we don't need bamboo growing over here in a shamble and dripstone beside it and moss underneath it. Like, it was just all so cluttered. We didn't need the small farm here. We have a large farm there. So it just didn't make sense to me. We're working on doing more of this stuff, right? Where it's like casual. It looks good. It feels good. I want to walk through it. You know, even though nothing is going on over here, this is much better than what we had over there so we're just working on converting the station over a bit um and we got to upgrade this villager area because i want an area for infecting the villagers honestly they're charging me out the wazoo and i'm getting a little tired of it so yeah that's a quick update we're gonna do a uh, a vault and i gotta organize my inventory because obviously we don't need some of the stuff but i will see y'all in the vault and that's our plans we may just do this as a picture slideshow as i do them sometimes we may do it as a sped up here there you know here's what i saw i'll see you on the other side and we'll uh we'll talk about what we got right we are now on a vault and this is level five we got plus one set of ornate chest and 110 percent chance of trap chest which is perfectly fine because, you know what, I'm here for grass, and I'm here for some, uh, some vault cobblestone. So I'll not be having any of your nonsense with the trap chest because I'm not even opening the chest. <laughs> Unless they are ornate or gilded. And then you might get me. Anyways, uh, we got some grass. That was easy peasy lemon squeezies. And we also have vein miner now, so we can start using that, I guess. It's only a two vein miner, but at the same time, we do literally mine twice as fast or get twice as much with it, so that's good. We got 16 blocks. I'm going to call that uh, even Steven there. Let's mark our entrance, and we are off. Now, I need vault cobble, so it's not going to be in this room for sure. It's going to be in, uh, in one of the rooms where we can go mining in. So, let's try to find one of those, huh? Alright, so we found one of these mining rooms. I don't think these have vault... Um, oh, hey, two sets of diamonds. I don't think these have any vault stone down in there, but we are going to take a little peek to see. Because you never quite know, right? No, that's just deep slate. That's what I thought. I'm not too worried with gathering deep slate right now, because we're going to be able to automate that um, in the future, so... Yeah, I guess uh, I'll bring it back when we find one of the rooms that we actually need. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we finally found what we were looking for this entire time, which is one of these rooms that has the, like, villager-esque settings, the overworld type, you know. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and grab anything decent here. No, not really. Everything, everything there we can generate on the island. Oh, beets! This is fantastic. Nothing beats it. <laughs> uh, okay. I made myself sad with that one, not gonna lie. Um, I mean, it's a great one. But also a little sad. Let's just start gathering some of this cobblestone. I don't even want the chip vault rocks. I just want the cobblestone. I mean, give me the chip vault rocks too, don't get me wrong, but... Mostly here for the cobble. I need... Uh, Two stacks and a little bit to build our portal. I know. Sounds extravagant, doesn't it? It's because it's going to be. And I encourage you. If you would like to see the finished product, the final huzzah, do subscribe to the channel. Like the video. But most importantly, watch the next episode. Because that's, that's where it'll be. Subscribing helps make sure that you see it. Liking probably makes sure that you see it even more. I mean, honestly, we've seen the YouTube algorithm. We know how it works. All right, well, I think that's it for... Uh this set of stuff so we're gonna I guess move on try to find another room all right so now the only thing that I really want or need from the vault is good old homegrown untouched dirt
about y'all, but I feel pretty accomplished in this vault. Oh, wait, I can't get out. There we go. Peace. 328 experience, so not a whole lot, but I did get a lot of dirt. And, uh, you know, we found the other stuff. Grass and uh, enough of the vault cobblestone that I can now build our big old portal. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thank you so very much for having watched this episode 8. It's probably going to be on the shorter side of things, but in all actuality, I spent more time on it than usual, just in between episodes, sort of, in between the middle of this episode. I don't know how you want to describe it, but we got a lot of work done, and uh, I don't want to keep moving forward with this, because the next thing is to relocate this and fill the side of that in. And I'm not going to subject y'all to, you know placing blocks on a wall at least not today that'll come in the future once i run out of actual things to do on this series anyways for today i want to say thank you all so very much for having joined me and been a part of the series thus far if you have been enjoying leave a like down below subscribe for more awesome content from yours truly there is a very large very special portal design coming next episode so make sure you're here for it uh, they usually release every two days or so anyways Thank you. Like, comment, subscribe, share out with friends, family, friends of the family, family of the friends. And uh, as per the usual, stay awesome, stay safe, stay crafting, and peace out.